Now let's move on to question number 73. So the question says 100 ml of 0.1 molar solution of COCl3.6H2O with AgNO3 excess gave 1.2 into 10 to the power 22 ions. Okay. Uh, so this particular complex on treatment with AgNO3 gave this many ions and ions haven't been disclosed, right? So they are precipitated. So you could understand that it could be a precipitate due to the interaction of one among these, one of these I mean, it could be a neg one of these negative species, negative ion, negative atom with AgNO3. The possibility is Cl, right? Because we already know that AgCl is a precipitate, white precipitate. So we are supposed to, if we know the number of Cl which are present, we'll be able to understand what could be the compound, right? So if you could see here, this is a coordination compound. So inside the coordination sphere, nothing could be getting affected. So the possibility is only when Cl is outside the coordination sphere, outside the complex bracket right so first option goes off now you are supposed to decide whether it should be cl3 cl2 or cl so let's first write down the equation let's begin with the solution so you have agno3 plus let's say a complex complex containing cl correct so uh, so i'll just put this in a different bracket so that i'm able to distinguish this and it forms agno3 agcl plus other products okay and they have said that so many ions have got precipitated so that means you could say that 1.2 into 10 to the power 22 ions get precipitated correct so what could happen right this is pretty much simple to understand so so many ions have got precipitated so you already know that agcl contains one mole of ag and one mole of cl right so it's pretty much easy to understand let's let's have the correlation between the number of moles or uh, something like that number of ions so you have one mole ions is corresponds to uh, 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 ions correct so that means 1.2 into 10 to the power 22 ions would correspond to x moles, correct? x moles of Cl you could say because you already know what is the ion basically. So what exactly would be happening over here? So you have to calculate x. x will be equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power 22. Just do the cross multiplication. Uh, multiplied by 1 divided by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. So now I'm just going to shift the decimal on the other side. I'll be getting 12 into 10 to the power 23 divided by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. Okay, so these two get cancelled and 6 this, you get something like uh, 1.9. So this approximates to 2. That means there should be 2 Cl ions which is possible when either it, uh, when it's going to be Cl2. So the only option that has this is this one, option number 3. So the correct answer for this particular question is option 3. To get more updates and more access to other videos, kindly comment, subscribe or like the videos.